What's cracking, everybody? I'm Growmaster. We're back with another update from Conan. Um, I haven't done any of these for a while because, well, there hasn't been one for a while. And they basically threw update 32 and 33 on Xbox today. I don't know if it'll be up by the time this video comes up, but I know they did say it will be up today for sure. Um, but yeah, the combat system. Each weapon type has their own specific attack and properties. You will now uh, have light and heavy attacks. Each one does a different stamina, uh, but obviously... Heavy does more damage. Chain attacks together for, like, basically combos. But it, you know, you got to watch your stamina. Dodging can be done in any direction, which is a freaking godsend. I mean, like, dodging backwards all the time and trying to get through that one temp that one cave or whatever was, like, that, that was a nightmare. So now we can dodge forward. Um, having weapons like dual daggers allows you to flip forwards when pushing the button. Throwing weapons like javelin lets you hurl it towards them. So that's cool. And then kicks have been implemented to, like, try to... You know, alter things. Um, you can sprint with weapons and tools again, which is amazing. Because trying to put every every time you put those away every time. Enemies have their health displayed to allow you to adapt and think about their attacks, which is, I don't know. In a sense, that kind of will be able like it'll it'll take you out of the vibe. But I, I understand why they do that because that will be a big help. Target lock, which on 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 a controller, that's amazing. That's amazing. I'm so happy there's a target lock. And weapon. It's going to deal with status effects and stack up to five times. Yellow Trail, for example, will inflict crypto, cripple debuff. Uh, so, yeah, and you can you can actually turn that off. That's cool. Uh, then there's the Purge. The Purge that they, they, they talked to about before, and I had talked about, I, I, I said how excited I was about this in my last patch note video. Um, you think you're prepared, you better check again. Because now, there is a Purge meter in your inventory. The more you build, the more you kill people and NPCs, and it, the more this builds up, and as it builds up, if you're in single player, you're going to be the only person that they'll attack. But they'll send waves of enemies at your base, which is just, it's cool. And in a sense, it kind of makes me think of, like, a tower defense game in that, like, the way that they're talking about it. But the towers are basically your thralls. So, in general, purges become more difficult the farther north you go, which, that makes sense. I mean, you get harder enemies the farther north you go. Um... You will need a combination of smart base design, thrall defenders, high tier buildings, and good team play. Well, I mean, if you're on single play, there's no team play you're by yourself. <laughs> um, this version is missing balancing pass and a couple key features. With iteration 2, we'll make purge more difficult, add new features, and combination of NPCs. They're basically trying to get people's feedback. They want to know if people enjoy it or not. And then the purge, if it's too easy, you, it sounds like you can adjust it. And there will be more features to come to it as far as that goes. Uh, yeah, this 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 I'm truly excited about. Oh, and then they said that there is, you can get uh, specific things. Yeah, higher difficulty purges will contain special bosses and unique loot or special crafter NPCs that will have unique recipes on them. So that's cool. That that's that that excites me as well. So there's like new stuff that you can get just from them. Uh, farming by obtaining seeds and plants by making compost in the compost heap. It is now possible to plant and harvest your own crops. In order to craft fertilizer in the compost heap, you need plant fiber, rod meat, and bone meal, which you get from grinding bone, claws, fangs, or ivory. For certain plants, you need more potent fertilizer, which <laughs> you add ash and blood to. So that's awesome. And I mean, you can see the picture, just like the all the cool little planting stuff going down. Like, that's great. They updated the HUD, so now the health bars appear as an actual bar. Um, your health... What is it? Uh, spinning points a certain yeah. There's the the perks. Uh, feats will are newly updated. New tab called stats where you can get the numbers to see how effective you are against the environment, both offensively and defensively. Which is cool because I was kind of was like, man, I want to know how bad I am against where we are. Like, what's the temperature? Stuff like that. Uh, fast travel, fast travel. We can fast travel between places, but it sounds like you need a map room first. I'm not 100 percent sure. But that's that's what it sounds like. We need a map map room, and then we can fast travel, travel from the map room to the obelisk, and but not the other way around. So we can go from the map room to an obelisk. Okay, so it's not not the fast travel I was originally thinking about. I read all this too. I don't know how I missed this part. Uh, abandonment system. Finally, all those things spread all over the map, which all my stuff is probably going to disappear because I haven't been on in so long because it's been so broken. But. <laughs> All those things that have been sitting there in the starter areas for ever are finally going to get this. There's a building abandonment system. So it sounds like after six days, the structure is abandoned and people can destroy it after another day. It 
completely is removed. So that's that's cool because there's like that oasis would have been really cool to build on. And I mean, as far as we could tell, nobody ever came back there. We played for a while in that area and nobody ever came back. But then the actual patch notes. Um, the highlight, we've redone population of the world as well as added world bosses that grant access to legendary weapons. Like, that's that's cool. The world bosses drop keys that can be used on chests you can find and open at level 60. The chests aren't always near the key it's found, so keep an eye out. These chests will provide some legendary items and custom effects on them. So that's that's great. Like, <laughs> But there is a quick loot added. Thank God. And new resources, new rare resources anyways. Um, you no longer sheath your weapon when sprinting. Building, Buildings and placeables now take damage from any tier of weapon, which I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's like the, the frost, fro uh, what, black ice buildings. Like, to take damage from any tier of weapon seems, I don't know. Unless it's like one damage at a time. <laughs> I, I don't know. But yeah, war paint's now available. You can automatically bind to beds and bedrolls when you place them, which is amazing because I placed so many things in the past and just forgot to automatically equip it. And I just died and lost. I had to respawn somewhere else. Epic armor smith smithing stations for epic armors have been implemented. That's that's cool. I mean, I don't I don't even. I guess there's gonna be a whole new armor station then. Armor smithing. <laughs> uh, you automatically default to the third person when you log in. Number of new weapons and placeables have been added to the game. Um, avatars, the move, they change the movement speed of them. They all move at the same speed except for set. I've never actually dealt with any of these avatars, so I don't know what's different here in that aspect. Um, we made other changes to avatars so they no longer instantly kill everything. They will no longer have their movement blocked by buildings and resources, foliage. The Yogg's attacks have been re-implemented. It will do damage over time and be blocked by avatar domes. Ymir, Ymir's Axe Slam now represents repre, yeah, respects damage settings and increased additional interaction radius. So Foliage Far Away can take damage from an Axe Slam. That's that's kind of cool. Avatar of Sets strafing is smoother and feels better. That's that's the snake, the giant snake. I, I haven't seen really any of them, so I don't, I don't know. Silent Armor no longer requires the Heart of the Kin Surge, which is awesome. See, there's there's so many different things in here. And I can't say any of them were like... Most of the stuff they talk about here was already up in the things above. But, I mean, you can pause at any moment to, like, read through the rest of these if you want. Um, I don't really think that there was anything huge that they said. Gas orbs cannot be thrown right now. And they did say that new obsidian materials have been added. War paints are now available. Lots of graphics with water and wetness. Um, there was one that was talking about, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, where are you? Hunting prey is now more rewarding. Yeah, you get special prey from certain, like, sounds like the bunnies and stuff, and hitting them in the head actually works. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what it was. Oh, it was the fixes. Fix, <laughs> you won't get arrows stuck in your hand anymore. <laughs> that was so annoying. Um, Fix an issue with dungeon entry, entry triggering between co-op players. Movements of the Rhino and Dire Wolf have been smooth. Yeah, this was... Barrow King can attack you again. <laughs> There's like a whole bunch of little things here and there. Um, but I mean, the Purge and all that stuff. Like, that's, that's what I'm super excited about. There's lots of things here. But yeah, hit that like button if you like this. Subscribe if you're new. I will be coming back to this game. I don't know when... I, probably going to be a few still because i'm still doing several pixar and lobotomy corp and i still have other games that are sitting there in the back burner right now waiting desolate i have a video of i just haven't been able to put it up because i have so many other things coming out but <laughs> i will see you in the next video sorry there's four videos today and thank you for watching though thank you so much and i will see you next time bye bye for now